in the desktop Linux space, there simply isn't a distro with a support cycle that is meaningfully longer than Ubuntu. Each LTS release, the next one being 24.04 releasing very soon, has five years of support. Now, there are things that have an equivalent support period, but they basically all exist within the Debian ecosystem. Debian LTS is five years. Mint is five years. Stepping outside of Debian, things get a lot quicker. Now, it's slow enough for a desktop user, but it's not five years slow. For example, OpenSUSE Leap provides 18 months of support. Fedora provides 13 months, and Arch Linux is about 30 seconds. Or if you want to be pedantic and define things in a stupid way, you could say a rolling release has an infinite support cycle because you never need to upgrade to a new version, you just update the packages. I'm not going to define it like that, I will go with the typical definition. But Ubuntu also operates in the corporate space, and in the corporate space it's pretty well established that if I offer you money, you offer me updates. As such, Canonical has a system called Ubuntu Pro. You may have heard of this back in 2022 when it entered its public beta available for free for individual users, and then entered its general availability as of early last year, 2023. So Ubuntu Pro expands the measly five years of support you get for a regular LTS distro all the way up to 10 whole years of security coverage and optional technical support to both main and also universe packages. And whilst it was free for individual users for up to five systems or 50 if you're a community member, if you're a company, you're obviously gonna have to pay for it. But it's not actually that crazy expensive. So there is a 30 day free trial for new enterprise customers and paid plans are priced at $25 per year for workstation, $500 per year for a server, and on public clouds, 3.5% of the average underlying compute cost. Additional services such as 24-7 support can be added if required. And the full range of pricing is available on the Ubuntu website. If something isn't listed here or something needs to be clearer and maybe you have a giant $100,000 contract, for example, you can get in touch with them as well. And this wasn't just starting with the new versions, it was going all the way back to 1604 LTS. So if for some reason you want to be a desktop user and you want to run 1604 LTS and still get security patches, you still technically can today if you sign up for Ubuntu Pro. Obviously this is intended for businesses that don't want to migrate yet, but again, it is free for individual users. Plea for the love of God, don't actually do that. But the option is there. In the desktop space, whilst 10 years might be the most support you'll get from any distro out there, when we're talking about the corporate space, 10 years is not the best support, and it actually falls a couple of years short compared to their major competition. So this right here is the RHEL lifecycle. It changed a little bit after RHEL 7, this is what they're using today, but it's basically the same, they just streamlined it just a little bit. And the model that SUSE uses is a tad different, but for all intents and purposes, is basically the same, and is also longer than what Ubuntu offers. So in the RHEL case, it gets five years of full support, this is bug fixes, security fixes, feature updates, five years of maintenance support, this is basically just bug fixes and security fixes, and then is the extended lifecycle support or the extended life phase. This is an additional three years of just security patches. This is an add-on intended as a basically transitionary window. This gives you 10 whole years to use whatever version of role you are using and then three additional years to migrate up to a new version. And it looks like Ubuntu is finally going to be adopting a very similar model. Now, I know I'm late to this, but also, basically, nobody talked about it. Canonical expands long-term support to 12 years, starting with Ubuntu 1404 LTS. This title is completely misleading and not actually what is happening. There is going to be 12 years of support, but it's not for long-term support. 
today Canonical announced the general availability of Legacy Support, an Ubuntu Pro add-on that expands security and support coverage for Ubuntu LTS releases to 12 years. The add-on will be available for Ubuntu 14.04 LTS onwards. So it's not something being added just to the base LTS. It works in a very similar way to what Rel is doing, where you have full support, which is your regular LTS, maintenance support, this is Ubuntu Pro, and then legacy support, this is your extended life phase. So Ubuntu Pro coverage for Ubuntu 14.04 LTS will end in April 2024. Again, that is this point right here. With legacy support, Organizations running their system on top of Ubuntu 14.04 LTS can obtain an additional two years of expanded security maintenance and phone and ticket support. This enables IT managers to prepare a detailed upgrade plan for the next LTS and software architects to concentrate on the application level with the support offered by Canonical's team. Or what's more likely to happen, they will pay for support to keep getting security updates until the end of 2026 and then just run an out-of-date system and not think about it. Yes, some will migrate, but also <laughs> there will be some that just don't ever. Canonical and Ubuntu is very much a corporate-facing project first. They don't make money from the desktop. Basically, no one does, largely due to uh, Canonical and Ubuntu completely killing that model. I might have to do a video on that in the future. But in the corporate space... Ubuntu is very much a smaller player. They're obviously not tiny, but compared to both Red Hat or even SUSE, they are absolutely minuscule in this space. Let alone the companies that also did other things like Oracle and also acted like a Red Hat reseller, basically just printing free money with basically none of the work involved, even though it is one year shorter than what RHEL is offering. They offer three years of additional support. Canonical and Ubuntu only offers two years. By having this additional offering, it brings them much closer in line to what is being offered by their direct competitors. Now, you may wonder, who is 12 years support even for? Why would anybody out there still be running 1404 in production? To which I say, just pay attention the next time you see a digital sign board, a cash register, or anything else out there deployed in the world where the software just randomly crashes. Just keep a close eye on what desktop you end up seeing, because oftentimes it'll be an ancient version of Windows, and depending on how long that thing's been in deployment, it might be pre-Windows, and absolutely nothing is different in the Linux world. Oftentimes, unchanging is seen as stability, which is technically true, but also if that thing has an internet connection, please, for the love of God, have modern security updates on it. Otherwise, that's going to be a serious problem, and it's only a matter of time until you lose a lot of money. If, hopefully, some of these systems out there actually can get some security patches, this is a good thing for everyone. Until they wait a couple more years and the security patches run out and they're still running the exact same system and haven't actually changed anything. Corporations. I know that some of you guys actually have jobs and actually use Linux in your job. So let me know. Is this something that would actually affect you? Is your business actually running something reasonably new? Or do they have some Ubuntu box in a closet somewhere that nobody knows what it's even running? I would love to know. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scrubs, the very pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And sign up for Arch Pro.